It was my pleasure to help you, Mr. Anderson. Yes, yes, certainly. If you ever need my help again, don't be afraid to call. It was my pleasure, Mr. Anderson. You're perfectly helping me with my research. Yes, yes, I have to go now, Mr. Anderson. The groceries don't get themselves. Cheerios! This man is Henry Higgins, aged 45, to others better known as a note-taker. Born in Oxford, raised by two ex-students from the local university, he was determined to become a well-educated man. However, he could not stand all the pressure caused by his parents, and so he ran away from home, aged only 16. It was at that time that he travelled all over the United Kingdom, getting in touch with a lot of different people. He became well known with the local accents and studied in Cambridge after wandering around in the UK. Ultimately, this resulted in a PhD in phonetics. People say that he has the ability of telling where someone is from solely by listening to one or two sentences from this person. Ever enjoying his profession teaching his skills to others at his home university, he bettered the lives of many by teaching them how to, by teaching people with a heavy accent to speak posh, like any higher class Englishman would. Mr. Anderson, for example. He went outside to get his groceries. At least, that's what he thought he would be doing. This hooligan is known by the name of Brandon Chapels. Born in the suburbs, lost his mother aged only six. His father was a man with alcoholic problems and often threw his aggression on Brandon. To avoid his father as much as possible, Brandon started playing soccer. He made a lot of friends and became a strong fan of the local soccer club. Raised, to become, raised up to become a rebel, he did everything he possibly could to annoy his old man. When he shaved his head, his father kicked him out of the house. Since then, he lived a hard life, living in an abandoned warehouse, struggling to survive. He applied for a job at McDonald's, desperate for money. Like his father, he is starting to groan an alcoholic addiction. Hey, watch out, you bloody bastard! Excuse me, sir, but I don't think this is either of our mistakes. Perhaps it is just fate that brought us to this very moment. The name is Henry Higgins. I gotta go to my job, mate. Fuck off. I'm sorry, but I think we misunderstood each other. They also call me the note-taker, and if you want to keep that job of yours at the McDonald's, wander on. But give me three months and I can change your life and make you a personal assistant of any CEO, Apple, Nike, or even the personal assistant of Bill Gates if you want to. In fact, you seem like a very capable person to me. Go out of my bloody way, old man. I'm not interested in your bullshit. A man who utters such di disgusting and depressing sounds shouldn't have the right to speak at all, no right to live. Remember that you're a human being with the soul and the divine gift of articulate speech. That your native language is the language of Shakespeare, Milton and the Bible. And don't stand there yelling like a chimpanzee who stepped into a bear trap. What? Has this all the sound? What? Look at yourself here, curbs are in English. The English will keep you at the McDonald's for the rest of your days. If you would only listen to me, I could make you a millionaire before the end of the season. And on the profit of it, I do Ghanaian work, phonetics, and as a poet on Miltonic lines. And on behalf of your own life, and of, on behalf of all lives of the people on this planet, I hope that you realize what I'm trying to make clear to you. The way you speak English is a shame to the English language. Now I offer you this opportunity to come with me and I will free you from this curse that possesses you. I will make you rich. Are you calling me dumb now, you bloody bastard? I told you, fuck it off. I got a job to do. At least take my number. Think about it. Immensely annoyed by Higgins' intelligence, Brandon walked away. The note-taker went to do the groceries in disappointment. Never did he dare to realize that he did actually make an impression on the broke hooligan. This was five years ago, just before the most dramatic change in Brennan in his life. He called Professor Higgins, and they met up once again, and in the following months after that they would meet up almost daily, strongly improving the way Brendan spoke. 